You know, I'm totally against neo-Nazis. As much as I am against SJWs, but... As much as I hate them and date, I don't wish for them to speak, they have a right to because this is the United States of America. Today I'm going to be covering a video by the name of... by, by a YouTuber... by the name of T1J Anator. Or whatever his fucking name is. Sounds like a crazy ass Terminator name, but... I'm not going... I'm issuing it right now. I do not want any harassment here. And, uh... This video that I'm going to be talking about was liked by a certain scumbag fucker feminist, which I will give you all means to go ahead and harass because you're humans. What the fuck are you going to do? It's the internet. Her name is Christy Winters. You know this bitch as the bitch is as the woman that alongside her male cuck cage friends Steve Shives and uh, Kevin Logan and Music Man, whatever the fuck his name is, uh, Michael Rollins, fucked Baring over and now are continuing to try to de debunk him. They've actually, this is a side note, that before we even get into the original video, you know, a little side story with the whole Baring issue on Christie. Um... With that, she actually authorized hackers to dox Baring, leaking his personal info. So with that in mind, Christy, I hope you're watching, because I want to see you squirm after this. Let's get it on. Follow me. So if you okay. Had the name right. Pretty good. Okay, let's resume the madness. I know I'm gonna hear some SJW rhetoric in this home, so especially across the man here. Didn't know this guy, Richard Spencer, who is a white nationalist, essentially. And um, he says he was late. Actually, he was a few days late. This was still a hot topic. Um, who did he just say? Let's rewind that a bit. Guy Richard Spencer, who is yes, Richard Spencer, a known neo Nazi, right winger, too, and people who they called a white nationalist, which is their excuse for being anything different than the whole leftist all the time. I'm a former Democrat, full right winger now, so why I left people like T1J, Christie, and all of them are the reason I left. So go ahead and call me Imperial Fascist Pig. I don't give a fuck. I'm seeing Trump running in this country to the ground, so my assumptions were correct, incorrect. But it's good to see America fucking burn and watch all the SJWs squirm like a bunch of fucking maggots. As a white nationalist, essentially a Nazi, he got sucker punched on camera recently. Apparently. Yeah, and all y'all bitches were jumping for joy that he got hit in the fucking head. No, you're just giving him the allowance of victim complex, like y'all. Like, you don't want him to have it. So, evidently, you failed to demean him publicly and just made him look good, and you just made your whole movement look like a bunch of crazy fascist nut jobs. And, um... T1? Since you are currently Christy Winner's new fuck buddy, I'm just gonna tell you this. Remember what communism did to Russia, how much damaged it. And if anybody dared talk back about bad about Stalin, they were immediately put to death. So keep this in mind. Because the minute that the whole SJW world begins, they're going to start removing everything that's racism and just have it be unequal as fuck because these people are racist as hell. And you know that. You know who SJWs are. And it's a matter of fact on multiple occasions. Now apparently it's controversial to call him a Nazi even though he consistently uses Nazi propaganda. Yeah, I kind of like how people are calling John Tron a Nazi, which I will cover today as well because John Tron is not a Nazi. So, if you're not with anybody, you're a Nazi automatically by default. I call that stupid and just straight up mental. See, a real Nazi was the ones that Promoted ethnic cleansing of the Jews. Yeah, they promoted that. I'm, I'm surprised that no feminist remembers the whole World War II thing. 
And with World War II, it was mass genocide. It created the Holocaust. Now, with feminists like Christy Winters, Clementine Ford, they want to recreate that, but only for men. And they said, we're the Nazis because we're not with our movement. Okay. Fair game. And the quotes from Nazi literature has suggested that Jews aren't people and has called for what he calls a peaceful ethnic cleansing and basically in most ways resembles a Nazi. But as I think about it, it's also controversial with these people to say racism is a thing. So I'm just going to go with it. So in this video, Richard Spencer will be referred to as a Nazi. So many people are happy about or at least amused by the fact that Richard Spencer got... So... You're going to refer to him as a Nazi from now on. Okay, what the fuck ever. But, uh, I'm going to look up that video of him getting punched and him talking about that whole ethnic cleansing thing, and I'm, I'm going to see if you're right on this, T1J. And, like most SJWs, they research everything as accurate, accurately as a Christian scientist. My point exactly. So, really, in a nutshell... It's just madness here. What I see from the social justice warrior, or should I just say, the entire left-wing political scape is that it's just a barren wasteland. It was fine in 2008, but it somewhat went to hell. Punch because, well, he's a Nazi. And some other people are saying, well, yeah, that guy sucks, but using violence is wrong. You're undermining your cause. You're basically. Perfect point. But the social justice warrior does not care. It will do anything to get what it wants, like a whiny little bitch complaining that it's not getting its a full allowance. Or like a child not getting the toy that they want at a local fucking Toys R Us. So, really, it's kind of right there on point. But it does undermine their cause to an extreme extent. But they don't care. Believe me. Go look it up. They don't care. Making him a martyr. It's much better to battle him using ideas and arguments. So I would describe myself as a pacifist. I don't think I... Yeah, too bad your fucking equivalence of social justice is not pacifism. It's mostly be aggressive and make demands and threats. So, of which I'm not comfortable with. And keep this in mind, T1J, that there was somebody, and I mean it, there was somebody that dared stand up to the social justice warrior in Quebec at a college. Because he would not give in to their gender studies bullshit. They got violent and started making massive threats towards him. And you know what? I'm subscribed to that motherfucker who keeps proving his point to this damn day. Hail science, bitch. I've ever been in the situation where I determined that using violence was the optimal solution to the problem at hand. Unless we're talking about actual self-defense against someone using violence towards me. And keep in mind, self-defense is different than vengeance. Self Apparently, social justice warriors take the term self-defense as a weapon. Because it triggers them to go ball up and cry and pop pills like a madman or like a junkie. So, with that in mind, what you're just going to be saying is what the social justice, justice warrior, the better yet in this case, the social justice xenomorph, grabs with a knife and twists it in our sternum to make us look at him. Work with Trump getting into the office, now we're all looking at him. But hey. He's running the country like it should have been. Burning into the ground. Making y'all fuckers scream. And, you know, T1J, I have a question if you are watching this. There was an incident where a man beheaded his mother, you know, 2013. We all know that. Took a selfie with a decapitated head. Turns out his ex-wife killed his child over an egg. And now recently he tried to kill a guard. I have one question for you since you look like you support Black Lives Matter. Where were they when this happened? I thought black lives really didn't matter. Oh wait, it only matters when a white man or any person of color kills a black, right? Yeah. You're a fucking idiot. 
Defense aims to prevent harm to yourself, while vengeance is a retaliatory attack after that harm has already been done. And I think that vengeance is almost always irrational, even if it is sometimes understandable. I just feel like it doesn't... No, vengeance is not irrational. In fact, it's a good concept. You see, if somebody does something horrible to you, say, i.e. kill your wife, you have every mean to go out and give, have, just, give, just have the choice to either murder them or send them straight to fucking jail. You're not covering that part of vengeance. You're not. That's what vengeance is. You want to see vengeance? You take that means taking revenge. And that's what all you SJWs do as a counter argument when your fucking argument falls through the roof and fails. It's like some sort of fucked up Mary Poppins really do anything or solve any problems. I guess you could argue that it deters if not prevents people from attacking you again, but that seems to rarely actually be the motivation for vengeful acts. But I no, revenge is for vengeful acts. So once again, here you are being wrong as fucking hell. Not proving a single damn point about the whole vengeance and retaliation thing. So really in a nutshell, T1J, I think you're just pull, pulling one out of your ass. I think you are. So, I want to see more of it. Yes, people, for the first time, I'm not actually raging at this. I'm actually studying the behaviors of the black social justice warrior in its natural habitat. I have to admit, my initial knee-jerk emotional reaction to seeing an openly racist demagogue get punched in the face is, I'm cool with that. Cause fuck that guy. But a Yeah, and you're also saying fuck his rights too. I don't like Nazis. Personally, I wish they all got executed. Every one of them. Neo-Nazis too. But they have a right to speak in this country. Because freedom of speech, freedom of press... Freedom of religion. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Or did you social justice fuckers forgot the amendments and the Bill of Rights? I guess you have along the way after all these years, so... Yeah, enjoy squirming under the boot of President Trump, the God King. Knee-jerk emotional reaction is not good enough for me. I have to sit down and think about how I really feel about that. As you might know, I am a staunch advocate of free expression, sometimes to the disapproval of other progressives. Even expression that is offensive or disgusting, as long as it does not directly harm or threaten anyone, I think it should be legally protected. Somewhat related to this whole conversation, I got a lot of shit on Tumblr because I- Yeah, and that Nazi, unfortunately, had his rights. So, really... <laughs> he did just have those rights you said. He had the right to speak out publicly, but you are enjoying him being shut down. Going like, okay, I'm cool with that. You shut him down. Cool, he don't get to speak. No. First time I've ever defended a Nazi, and it's right fucking here. Does that mean I'm racist? Oh, I think some of those social justice freaks are going to be replying in the comments saying, yeah. Heads up, you fuckwits. I have a black stepdad. Is that racist then? Is it? Go ahead and put it in the comments if it's racist or not. You fuckwits. Criticized Germany for arresting a guy that was doing the Nazi salute in public. Now I understand that Germany and Yeah, the reason why Germany did that is because of the dark history of World War II involving Adolf Hitler, who did the same salute while screaming his own weight off while high on what was soon to become meth. Yes, that's right, Adolf Hitler created amphetamines. Who fucking knew? And he was a junkie for that shit. But um, as far as, you know, the drug complex of Adolf Hitler goes, um, Hitler, it, fucking Germany just wants to forget the whole World War II thing. That's why they don't have anything talking about Hitler in their books. They want to wipe it. And they are wiping it. Okay? That's why the Germans will do anything to keep that wiped. I can understand why. 
But it is a part of history, so I don't really know what's the argument between them trying to wipe out a part of history that actually happened. But I do understand why they would want to keep it suppressed, because it was a dark moment in history. Lots of people were killed. Lots of Jewish people. Lots of German citizens that supported the Jews were killed. It was a fucking massacre. Okay, I can understand why Germany would do that in this case. You know? But hey. Shit happens here in America, right? Other countries have unique laws because of the unique history in that area. And sometimes you might have to take drastic measures just because... Oh, there's a lot of them, buddy. There's a lot of them. Hitler was a madman. That's why those laws exist. Because they want to erase the history and pretend like it never happened. It was a dark moment in human history and I can understand why they would do anything to erase it. There in Europe. Hell. Same goes for England. I'm not kidding. Same goes for England. Because, uh, remember... What was it? Oh, yeah. The British-Irish War or something like that. Then the, uh... The Revolutionary War between us and them. A lot of bad shit. You can see why they want to erase our, their history, but we can't erase the ones that we've set in stone here. Our version. Germany's trying to erase their version. See the conundrum? See the domino effect here? Some countries that have been affected by that been affected by the Holocaust those 75 years ago, at least 75, will do anything just to keep the memory suppressed because it was such a horrible, horrible, cataclysmic like event of ethnic cleansing, or should I just say, genocide. But you social justice warriors, whenever an Indian does not get a scholarship, you scream, "It's genocide!" No, genocide is killing a high amount of a specific race based on color or religion. Kind of like how the Christians did during, what was it? The Crusades! So with that in mind, that was genocide. And the whole Native American not getting a scholarship is not genocide. As I said, I've repeated myself multiple times, but I'm just going to put emphasis on this. I understand why Germany will erase the history here. A lot of fucked up shit. But the social justice warriors are going to hold on to it like it's the truth. History's going to hold on to it forever. That shit's been set in stone. But you are getting the chance, getting all giddy because a new Nazi got punched in the face. Okay, well, yeah, whatever, good. But that, did that deserve the right to shut him down? No. You made him, you let him play the victim card. He's got my sympathy already because you fuckers attacked him. And I'm not meaning blacks, T1J. I'm meaning social justice warriors and their shitty movement in general. So keep that in mind. You're f y'all fucking insane. Do you know how disastrous something can actually turn out? But in general, I maintain that it is a very bad precedent to try and legally restrict free expression. I've made several arguments for this before, so I won't go into it now. You can watch those videos later. But this wasn't a government retaliation upon Richard Spencer. This was just an individual citizen who took it upon himself to sock him in the face. By the way, good on him for leading with the elbow. The bones in your hand are fragile. Outside of violence, reactions from individuals is what makes free speech work. It's how we determine our society's values. The right to free speech allows us to be exposed to all ideas, not just pre-selected ones that our government or our media thinks are proper. And then we criticize and ridicule ideas we think are bad and we prop up. And you hear what he just explained? That is what the social justice nut jobs do in a nutshell. So right fucking there. Boom! Heads up social justice warriors, you got ran out by one of your own. Now we know how you fucking work. And reward ideas we think are good. And our values might and probably will evolve over time and how we react to ideas will change accordingly. It's all very subjective, but I think it's fair. But in general, we would usually agree that a person should not have to fear violent retaliation just because they have an unpopular or disagreeable idea. Like, I oppose the death penalty, but if someone got punched in the face just because they supported the death penalty, I would probably think that was out of line. But ultimately,
Yeah, you don't think it's out of line when that Nazi got hit. Okay, fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. He fucking pulled a backtrack right here. He fucking backpedaled out of the hole, exposing his own movement, and went back straight to the bullshit. With that whole death penalty thing. I support it. If a real motherfucker like, uh... One of the last living Tarsarnia brothers who's in jail right now, or the fucking Aurora Theater shooter, I say fucking kill them because they can make horrible acts. They deserve death. They don't deserve life. They squandered that the minute they committed the max. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. And I would be jumping for joy. Same goes for Jared Fogle. Whose ass is getting, is getting prison shanked and beat the fuck up? I'm jumping for joy right now while playing the Russian Victory March theme. Makes me smile every time that I hear he gets his ass kicked. Because he's one step closer to death. Call me a hateful person. I don't give a fuck. I love when good, bad people get fucking straight up killed. Because they had it what? They had it coming? Yes, they did. So, apparently, you don't give a fuck for the Nazi, but you will give a damn if somebody gets punched over the death penalty. Okay, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Ultimately, I don't think I feel the same way about being a Nazi. So here's my premise. I don't claim to have all the answers. I'm open to be challenged on almost anything. There are very, very few things that I think are unambiguously no room for argument unacceptable. But being an open, unabashed Nazi white supremacist just happens to be one of those things. There are people out there who consistently say dumb, untrue, and... Hey T1, can I speak the, to the woman in charge of your cuck cage for ya? harmful things like for example the majority of people who work at fox news but this seems to me to be very yeah and look what happened to one of them called megan kelly she's now in a showdown with the most egotistical bastard nbc's ever produced and yes i'm rooting for the egotistical bastard matt lauer crush the bitch but really can i talk to the woman that maintains your cock cage t1 can i no SAVAGE IN THIS BITCH! Clearly different. This goes beyond saying something that's mean or untrue or hurtful. This is like something that's actually unacceptable. Like, should not exist. I think the problem is a lot of you- America. Home of the what and the home of the what? No, I know. America. Land of the what and the home of the what? Put that shit down in the comments. Or reply to this video, you fuckwit. So I still know you're an American here. People are framing this like it's just another shitty political opinion, but I don't think that's right. This is like... Yeah, because PC agendas are always not a political opinion. Well, they always are! Yeah. Oh, and Caitlyn Jenner's not a hero. If a guy got on TV and spoke about how awesome it is to kidnap and torture people, like, that's not just another opinion. That's just unacceptable. If Agreed. Kidnap and torture is unacceptable. But when the motherfucker had it coming and did a terrorist act, I think torture is somewhat more fitting. That are just straight up beating the motherfucker and putting a bullet to the brain the minute they get done spewing all the information. Call me a brute. I like seeing bad people get killed because it gets, because it's karma kicking them right in the fucking ass. If a guy like that gets sucker punched, I'm probably okay with that. And something tells me that most. Yeah, you would be okay if a Nazi gets sucker punched, but if somebody that's for the death penalty is stating it and is all about it gets sucker punched, you will tend to defend him immediately. Oh, ho, ho. cut the bullshit. It goes from science observation to complete anger with me now. How you feel, Rasta man? Most other people would probably be okay with that too. There's just this movement currently whose only purpose seems like it's to be hyper-reactionary to everything progressives say and do. But if a guy like that gets on... Can you see why? Because your whole progressive movement 
is a bunch of fucking batshit fruitcakes that can't handle the criticism. TV facts and arguments are no longer relevant. Richard Spencer and the alt right are completely subverting the entire concept. Oh, alt right, yeah, you mean right wingers, right? You keep trying to paint them as the big nasty Grinch. Fuck you, get out of here. Of the exchange of ideas. He doesn't care about facts or arguments, he's a fucking Nazi. Nazis back then when they were killing Jews had facts and arguments. Their versions of facts and arguments. Whole world had their different version. That's why it was such an issue with the Holocaust. You dumbass. What kind of arguments are you going to make? Oh, uh, actually the Nazis were bad and whites aren't. A the Nazis were bad in World War II. But anybody who does not support your little fruitcake PC agenda movement is a Nazi, huh? Then hire whatever. Then hire whatever. Cause I'm against your movement, buddy. You fucking fruitcake. A superior race. Oh shit, I didn't even think about that. My bad. So in my view, it's not about trying to defeat white supremacists in a battle of ideas. I don't think that's gonna work. Listen, given the time, White supremacy will die out. And two, whites are not the superior race here. Here in America, we are as equal as every motherfucker. But no, every but fe women are inferior. <gasps> Muslims are inferior. <gasps> Mexicans are inferior. <gasps> Asians are inferior. Oh, fuck you. They have the same rights as you and me when they come to this godforsaken landmass. That we call a state with more school shootings than any other country. You fucking animal. Some ideas are just unacceptable and we have to prevent their propagation. And I s yeah, your ideas are unacceptable, but we don't prevent it. That's just the classic standard SJW comments saying, Oh no, 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 they're going to shut down my, my argument. Uh, help me, help me. Uh, uh, dog him! Do you see how insane you motherfucker sound? The minute anyone gives you critique like shit on this, you start whining, screaming, and flailing your arms like it's the nuclear apocalypse coming. Fucking idiots. You're one of them. Still think the legal right to free speech is important, so it's not up to the government to do this. It's up to the citizens to facilitate. No, it's up to the government to help uphold the laws. It is up to the officers to help uphold the laws. It is help it is needed from legislature to uphold that shit. It is needed from the judaical and fucking all the other branches combined to make and uphold that shit for us to be free. That's what you don't get. Facilitate this. So the first thing we have to do is to refuse to treat unacceptable ideas as if they are normal political positions. A lot of people criticized Bill Nye when he agreed to debate Ken Ham on the subject of evolution and creationism because they felt like he was treating a patently. Yeah, and you want to know what Bill Nye did? He destroyed Ken Ham with a fistful of science and fact. Not like you people that research something as accurately as Ken Ham does ridiculous and unscientific idea as if it were a legitimate alternate theory we shouldn't engage people like that we shouldn't debate people like that we shouldn't invite people like that to speak at our events and when they are given a so social justice thing right here kids listen close to what's coming out of this fucker's mouth platform of any kind we should protest it and i feel like i've made this clear already but i'm gonna yeah if it ain't with the social justice pc program it's it's racist it's nazism it's sexist protest it kind of like how trump fans are protesting a fucking starbucks right now right that kind of stupid yeah get the fuck out of here to reiterate it i'm not saying that everything i disagree with is unacceptable because i know there are going to be comments like you just want to silence things you disagree with but no i disagree with a lot of people yeah you want to shut them the fuck up huh 
people on a lot of things and the vast majority of those things I'm perfectly fine with allowing you to openly express. No, you're fine with us allowing to openly for you to be against, bitch about, and then try to get taken down. No. Freedom of speech, bitch! But in my view, there are a few things, a very small number of things, but a few things nonetheless that are just simply unacceptable, like advocating the torture of innocent people, or... You mean advocating the torture of fucking psychopaths that deserve death? I agree. I advocate for that. Or white supremacy. Maybe you don't think those things are unacceptable. I don't care for white supremacy. I hate them. But I really don't give a fuck what they do because they can't commit the ethnic cleansing because it would be in violation of many world laws. And two, it is not mentally stable to do so. And three, they would be locked up for the rest of their lives for pulling that shit. Or maybe you think the list of unacceptable things is much larger than my list. I can only speak from my perspective. The concept of no platforming is kind of controversial, and I think it's usually misused if I'm being honest. But what I think it should be used for- Gloves are off on this one. Give me one sec. Let's do this! For is ideas like fascism and peaceful ethnic cleansing, which is an oxymoron, by the way. But I'm sure that Spencer and his followers know that it's an oxymoron. That's what I'm talking about. You can't defeat them in a battle of ideas because they're not playing by the rules. The second thing that we can- Kind of like you and- Kind of like your social justice movement Christians do, right? With the whole trapdoor argument, like, were you there? And you're a racist, you're a racist son of a bitch, then they're gonna keep screaming at you when you're trying to prove a goddamn fucking point, right? Yeah, get the fuck out of here, you stupid son of a bitch. Go back! to an actual school that does not have a gender studies program and then get back to me, you stupid fuckwit. What we do is put social pressure on people with horrific ideas. We don't hang out with them, we don't- Oh, so the whole world's putting pressure on you. CAN YOU SAY WHY?! We don't date them, we don't marry them, we don't look them in the eye- Yeah, because they don't agree with your views or your whole movement, yeah, 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 fucking abandon them. Fuck you. I, we give them shit every time they start talking, we ridicule them. We want to- Kind of like how every anti-SJW does to you guys, as you claim, right? No, we provide a counter-argument just to shut you up because you idiots are so fucking stupid, you don't know what's fucking good. And plus, as I said, look up your amendments and memorize the Bill of Rights! And if you can't handle that, get the fuck out of this country! Send the message that, hey, you don't get to be a Nazi and also live a normal, peaceful life. Sorry about that. We want them to fear the social consequences of being an awful person. No, you want them to be, f you want them, you want them to be afraid. So that you will one day, when the whole world gets turned PC, you have the full go-to to commit genocide on anybody that has no opinion, that has no good arguments against, that has no good arguments for you, right? Which is pretty much everyone on the goddamn planet. So, the minute that day comes, believe me, I'm opening a can of killing spree on SJWs should they take over. And start killing people. I'm opening up that can. Those consequences could include being ostracized or ridiculed. Or they could include being punched in the face. And no or they could include genociding neo-Nazis and anybody who does not agree with the social justice warrior thing. Kill. Kill. That's what I'm hearing out of y'all's mouth. You know, if you're going to treat anti-SJWs, neo-Nazis, anybody that does not agree with you, like fucking Dracula and company, then why the fuck are you even on this fucking godforsaken landmass that has more school shootings than any other country in the goddamn planet? Why? No, we're not trying to change their mind. That's probably unlikely. We're trying to contain unacceptable ideas by disincentivizing, if not outright preventing their propagation. It's often said that violence never solves anything. Yet the social justice terms of violence, which means shutting somebody down and threatening to kick their ass, pushing, shoving, and putting their hands on people, is the right way?
No, it still counts as assault. Which may be a decent rule of thumb for your general life, but it's clearly not entirely true. Like if a cop uses violence to apprehend a dangerous criminal, no one's gonna be like, "Ah, oh, violence doesn't solve anything." Shit. That's how you social justice warrior are. That's how. But the only reason that cop would turn to a violent, lethal act is if the criminal is not is resisting and continues to commit lethal acts towards the police. They go with it not lethal first. Kind of like me in the make my day law shit. Anybody try to pull that shit, break it in my house trying to kill me. I will fucking make sure I hurt them, but with a non-lethal fashion. And they continue to assault me or bring in a gun into this case and try to shoot me, I will be forced to take lethal measures. Now with the police, if they see a guy with a gun, their first chance is going to try and take him down with some stun. Probably a fucking sleeping dart from a sniper rifle or fucking a beanbag from a shotgun or even my personal favorite the glava knuckle or the taser and when that fails you shoot the son of a bitch cause it's already escalated to a point to where non lethal's not gonna work some of y'all justify police violence against innocent people. And another example is self-defense, which I mentioned before. But I think it could be argued that some ideas and actions are inherently or potentially violent, even when they don't directly cause physical harm to anyone. Like, I don't know, the idea of ethnic cleansing. And if that's the case, then self-defense might apply here. So would I myself punch Richard Spencer in the face? I doubt it. Do I and the man you punch Richard Spencer... I will fucking be there, and I will hit you in the face, you stupid fuck. Read the Bill of Rights! If you can't handle it, leave my fucking country now. I think that if you see Richard Spencer in the street or any other neo-Nazi that you should punch them in the face? Not really. Should the guy that punched Richard Spencer be charged with assault? Probably. But am I okay with the fact that Richard Spencer got punched in the face? Yeah. Fuck that guy. That's just me, though. What do you think? I'll tell you what I think. You're a PC social justice libtard who has it so far up his ass, who he tried to fucking actually just openly just threw out the window and showed us the inner workings of his movement, only to backpedal, calling, saying the whole Nazi shit. Look, Nazism. Who gives a fuck? People hate it. But, since they're here in America, and there's people like that, they have the right to free speech. And I'm gonna keep saying it till this sticks in y'all fucking head, till it sticks in y'all fucking movement's head. Bill of Rights! The Amendments! You don't like that! Get the hell out of here! And that's what kept our country afloat for years. If you can't handle amendments, Please, by all means, go to Saudi Arabia and see how far that gets you. Oh, go to Angola while you're at it. Or, dare I say it, Baghdad! And see how much your fucking ideas get you there. You'll see how far it kills you. You'll see. I can't believe what turned into a nice observation into the SJW mind, turn into what would later be a full impact of rage because it's so fucking stupid what these people fucking spew. You understand why I want it to end, why I want you people to stop this. To those of you viewers who are college students that don't like the idea of social justice, preach it the fuck out. And these people threaten you with violence or kicking you out of the university, there's a bunch of online universities. Keep that in mind, okay? You'll be safe. Fight these fuckers head on. Do it. You do it, you have saved yourself. No, no, no. You saved possibly more people and exposed them to a good idea. So with that in mind, buddy, I'm just happy about everything nowadays. <laughs> but hey, I'm just some kind of loser Nazi to the social justice warriors, right? I can't control what happens in our world, nor can you, so stop trying to control it! You can't control shit. 
You're not in control of everything, and political agenda and pol PC police ain't gonna help anything. It's just going to make it worse. I've been Mr. Soma Arquetta, and to the social justice warriors, fuck you and good day, and to the good subscribers and viewers, have a nice day, good day, good night, good luck. Fucking sick of this social justice shit. Coming for you, Christy. I'm coming.